What we've learned after Einstein is the presence of gravity and energy, because they're the presence of matter and energy, and matter and energy are the same thing. Uh, it distorts the fabric of space and time in ways that you can track by the path of a beam of light. Because the light will always take the shortest distance between two points, and if space curves, that's its shortest distance that it can accommodate. Okay, so you can describe the shape of the universe by what paths of beams of light are doing. And, and that's, that's how you can see the distortions in the fabric that wouldn't otherwise be visible to you. But that's the shape throughout the universe. If you want to ask what is the shape of the whole universe, well, the observable universe is a sphere and we're at the center of it. No different from a ship at sea being in the exact center of its own horizon. But is the, is the ship, is the captain saying, that's the edge of the ocean right there? Where I can see, no, they're saying the ocean probably goes beyond that. And one way to do it is you move towards it and then more horizon comes in. So we don't have that ability here in our universe, but we don't have any reason to think that the universe stops at our horizon. Beyond that, the universe could be infinite.